All right. I think that takes us to our top 10. And kicking off the top 10, we have Team 80, made up of Nick and Ethan, um, who opted for a very clean design with an awesome shooter and a very well thought out start placing mechanism. And also for the top 10, um, we're going to be going through every single judge's opinion on the robots. So for this one, I think we're going to start with Griffin. All right. So for this one, I like the creativity of the fact that it was just a simple slope and hill into literally a, gol a golf hole for their uh, human intake feeder. Now, and then also add on to that, under them was a, a ground feeder that so we gave them versatility in just anything. Now, now the thing is, I this is just me looking at it, and like I didn't know if. I was looking at it right, but it looked like possibility of the lift interfering with shots. And even if it, even if it just lightly taps it, that's going to mess up your shot no matter what. Yep. All right, Park. How do you feel? I uh, I, I really liked the renders. First of all, they're really nice renders. Um, we're looking at them right now. Uh, I the shooter and the big wide funnel for, <clears throat> sorry, wall intake was was smart and i think they put a lot of they, they they correctly guessed that the the bigger the better when it comes to the intake mm -hmm. uh, the shooter was great there was a lot of detail in the cad um the linear elevator was a uh, built on a set of cascading carbon fiber shafts which is uh, a potentially viable and lightweight i know that actual precision carbon fiber linear rails are ridiculously expensive. Um, I think for this, you wouldn't need them to be precision and you could just use carbon shafts and, and maybe it would work. Um, there were some, some design details around using composites like that, that I was unsure of, but it was a good, a good idea and, and certainly a good attempt. And yeah, the shooter and the rest of the robot was solid. Colin, do you have anything to add? Yeah. Uh, I noticed their drivetrain. It has four wheels and that, um, uh, it might give them a little issue with the turning. Yep. And, and also, did, were there... I don't know if I saw any electronics. There were not, and that limited the score for me quite yeah. a bit. Mm -hmm. I would, yeah, I would have put it up. I would have given it probably five in detail. Right. Yeah. Because they did have fasteners, um, but no electronics. So yeah. If, and if you, you know, go back to how we actually judge these machines, um, it's one through five on detail. And if you look at how we outline detail, it did have electronics as one of the boxes. So in order to score a five at detail, you had to have full electronic systems. Otherwise, this would have been very, very top tier. I Absolutely. Think. And it still did come within the top did. ten. Yeah. yeah. So right. uh, that's it's pretty impressive. And that will move us uh, to our ninth ranked team, which is team 102. Um, Team 102 reminds me a lot of a 2016 robot with their adjustable ornament shooter and drop-down intake. Team 102 is also the highest-ranked solo team um, led by Kian and Kian only. Um, and he's from Australia, which is also uh, pretty cool, one of our international teams. So uh, starting with Parker, how do you feel about this one? I, so, so I think you might be able to see it from the renders, but they use this really clever uh, asymmetrical four-bar linkage for both adjusting the pitch of their shooter and moving their shooter to an intake position uh, to to intake balls, so you can see how they're two different <coughs> variable or di different length four bars or two bars each, I guess, or however you describe <laughs> that that adjust the the pitch, which is a clever mechanism. And while mechanically it would uh, it probably could stand to be more robust if it actually uh, needed to compete, the concept was really neat, and I liked how they 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 did that a lot. Uh, the drive base used pneumatic wheels, which is uh, interesting. It's fine. I don't know if it was necessary, but uh, those were those were there. And they had a kind of little simple present grabber because I think that um, in the case that presents do become worth something, like fuel ended up being in power up um, <laughs> with crowding around the tree or whatever, being able to grab presents and pull them in rather than having to drive around them and push them in uh, would save would save time. So a lot of these top tier teams had, had get present grabbers just in case because I think it's worth it. Yeah, uh, moving on to cold. So, like, sorry, um, power up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> power up. I meant still works. <laughs> like, <laughs> like Parker said, the design of the four bar linkage was pretty cool, and they unfortunately lost a point on detail for using Neo motors with no Spark Max controllers, and. They can do everything except the star, but I think that they make up for it for being so efficient with yeah. everything else. Definitely. Griffin, how do you feel? 
I definitely feel the same way, but or Lee, I think it's a very, very well designed robot and a good uh, execution of uh, effectiveness in a game. I think the one problem is is that I'm thinking like the way I view this is like okay, what if a what if a team who has very little money uh, was given this design and was told to build it? Now, a team with very little money could not do this robot because it's such a complex thing. Like, I'm from a team that is from that does have very little money, and we could never imagine like being able to buy the parts and the machinery that could do this stuff, or even right. try and outsource it. Now, that that knocked something for me, but just in general, that was a this was a very good robot. Yeah, no, and I think. If you look at this team, you know, there's very similar looking teams outside of the top 10. And I think for me, at least, we'll put this team within the top 10 um, was their intake. Uh, A lot of teams with arms sort of like theirs, um, where it had two wheels and it would pop up and shoot, use their shooter also as their intake. Um, And again, it's a very small, very narrow um, point of intake. So the fact that they had their present grabber, which also doubled as an ornament intake, uh, there in front of their robot, for me, um, definitely helped their score and effectiveness quite a bit. So that will move us to our eighth ranked team, which is 214. So uh, Drew and Cam's team name is Confusion360, but Team 214 does not confuse me. Overall, it is a very well-designed robot with an awesome intake and a nice little present arm. Colton, how about you kick us off? So, like you said, the present arm looks like the style by... 254, 1323, 1678, you know. And their shooter is awesome. Yep. And there's a lot of detail there. Definitely. Griffin, what do you think? I feel like it's definitely a very intricate and very well thought out design. I think what took me back from it was that they just simply just stuck 254's intake on as presents, as, as what I feel like a last ditch thing. But definitely with the shooter, I felt that it was a really good shoot. Like it was a really nice original shooter and intake that would that I would definitely want to see work. Uh, that I would definitely guarantee would work well in if this was a real game. Yeah, definitely, uh, Parker. How do you feel? Uh, agreed with everything there. Um, I think that uh, the the overall detail was really solid. I think there were a few components. Like, maybe it didn't have an elevator or something. I think in their scouting sheet, they said they ran out of time to put in a component or, or two. So there was, I think, inside on the elevator was probably what it was. There's a bit missing. But mm. uh, on the detail that was there, everything was was really great. <clears throat> and uh, I, I think that their their present intake was kind of pretty much a 254 intake, but it would have it would have worked. Um, yeah. And had they had an effective star intake, this would have been a, a, a real killer. Um, but they did have a shooter, and typically with... with with those kind of shooters, I would prefer to see some kind of vision or alignment system uh, to help the the driver because these are very small targets this year. And uh, yep. to having driven one of those games, that kind of help a lot. Yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, first of all, copying 254, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that because yeah. they build the best robots in the world year after year, um, or at least one of the best robots in the world year after year. So copying them did not take any knocks from me. Um, what did take the knocks for me, and I think, again, this is a top eight robot, so take this with a grain of salt. This is a very good robot. Um, is that in this game, I'm not sure I would favor a robot that shoots from a fixed angle. So I, I think I favored robots that can articulate a little more um, and can angle their shooter straight out into the tree um, with our, you know, there's much more lenient extension rules than there are in some other shooting games. I, I wish that was taken advantage of here, um, but overall, it's incredibly nice looking. Um, and I think it accomplishes its two tasks fairly well. I think that moves us to the seventh ranked team, which is team seven or two ninety seven. Team two ninety seven had some inspiration from nine seventy one with their awesome arm designed to pick up ornaments up and score them directly into the goal. Hopefully, with a design like this, Val, Holden, and Terrace have some awesome programmers to help them out. So uh, I think we're gonna start off with Griffin. How do you feel about this one? Uh, again, this this reminded me a lot of 971 from 2018, and I that's that knocks for me in creative to where it's basically the same thing but with balls. And I I, I like the they definitely added some added the wire like the wiring and the articulate and some of the maneuverability needed for that arm to work on on that. 
but I feel like they missed effectiveness for the fact that they have so slow of cycles that they can do. Because from the looks of it, at max, they can hold two balls, at, right. and that's a best case scenario. So <laughs> that just, that just like knocked me, knocked them a little, little further down that list. Yeah, Parker, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, it was um, it was definitely a nine seventy one uh, kind of inspired design. But I have to say, um, they got the required encoders correct, which is a point for me. Um, but also, and their arm design, while the weight reduction was a bit aggressive, uh, I checked the reductions, assuming some some stuff with the Vex Pros that you couldn't see. But I checked the reductions, and they were pretty much spot on, uh, which was which is solid. They actually did almost improve upon the nine seventy one design a bit by using some worm drives, which aren't that efficient but would work um and so that got some points as well um the uh the the kind of weird it's hard to see but they have an individual kind of conveyor belt on each one of the claw fingers which i uh and, and they're all independently driven which was an interesting design choice and it has some really long belt runs and might useful might be useful might not but um if it could be controlled then I felt it would be effective at placing the star, uh, which would be great. And also, yeah, it would be s- slow cycles because you can only hold one at a time. But the design was 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 good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, moving on to Colton. So the part that I really liked about this robot and I want to see in real life is they said they had an in-wheel motor tank drive with Neos, yeah. which <laughs> I want to I wanna see that in real life. That just, it sounds and looks so cool. Yep. And I just want to learn more about that. Yeah, no, I dove a little into their cat. It was really elegantly designed. Yeah. I mean, this team team really did uh, do very well in the actual catathon aspect. Um, but where it lost points with me, and I just got off of saying copy 254 to like, do that. And copy 971 is awesome. I mean, 971 builds, some of, again, some of the greatest robots every single year. Um, but they also have some of the most incredible programmers in FRC. And because of that, their robots year after year, they look crazy elegant, especially you go back to 2015. Their robot was awesome in 2015. Um, they look incredibly elegant on the field. But if you dropped that robot off at 99% of FRC team's labs, they, they just wouldn't be able to control it. I mean, it, they're incredibly hard to control. They involve a lot of programming. Um, so whenever you're going to copy 971, have a little bit of caution and make sure that that you can program well. But this is a CAD competition, so we're going to assume that they have some top-notch ones over there. If we, if I can just say something else, if that's fine. Um, yeah, go for it. I'm going to be a bit of a contrarian and say that I did okay. not really like the in-wheel Neo design. I, I, I liked the tagline of it. That sounded really cool, but once I dug yeah. into it, they they have a kind of a... Their, their motor, their entire robot is supported by what appears to be eight... Um, eight like 1032 bolts that are that are like the neo motor mounting bolts with spacers in them that cantilever them out further and then they're putting the entire weight of the robot on those bolts and then on the shield of the neo itself um it did while it was a cool concept and was super compact um it 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 didn't seem like it would hold up maybe i missed something it was tough to kind of figure out how the force actually went through there but it felt like that would just pretty much straight up shear those bolts off within 15 minutes yeah go ahead all right, so that moves us to the Sync Strike team, which is Team 215. And uh, when William, Ben, and Robert took a look at the game, I think they might have accidentally seen a low bar because, man, is this bot short. But it is very robust to be built and is probably one of the only robots in the field designed to do all three aspects of the game. And, uh, Parker, can you start us off here? Sure, yeah, I was just, just talking. But, yeah, uh, this was a, it's a cool robot. Um, the uh, packaging was very, was very nice. Um, the uh, shooter was a pretty standard except for the fact that they tried to make it use a differential to control the pitch of their shooter hood um they didn't use a differential right they pretty much <laughs> put a uh, a gear based speed reverser in line with their two motors and attach that to the hood um i really like the concept of using a diff for that with with the appropriate mechanical designs but the the the, the concept behind that was, was felt fundamentally flawed um but the robot was otherwise well packaged um I, the star arm didn't seem like it would really work um it was there was an attempt um but just the otherwise great packaging and detail on the shooter and and the rest of the robot was was solid yeah uh colton how do you feel yeah i was uh concerned about the arm when it extends up and i love their drivetrain i'm a sucker for four omni wheels so (laughs) yeah Yeah. you know i I like that as well it's fun to drive uh griffin how do you feel 
Uh, I pretty much the same thing. I feel I feel like the fact that it's low to the ground will definitely make it a bit more difficult to shoot. But so that was a knock for me. And then, but the arm, I felt like, even though I was missing a little bit of detail on how it fully extended, I uh, I feel like that's one of one of the higher up reasons of or higher up uh, star placers that we saw saw in this. You know, I agree with that. If it was finished, I think uh, it would work pretty damn well. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe.